Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Chibitronics. Today we're continuing our video series and I'll be teaching you how to create a parallel circuit. We'll use the same Firefly card design with different circuits so that you can see how to create totally different interactions with the same design. So let's get started. If you missed the intro video in the series, you can find a link above or in the YouTube description below. In the first video of the series, I showed you how to create a simple circuit to light up one Firefly. Today we're going to create a parallel circuit to light up all three Fireflies. I'll share two ways to do that, one with the lights always on and another with a battery holder for mailing. As I mentioned in the last video, creating a circuit is as simple as connecting the positive side of the LED sticker to the positive side of a battery and the negative point of the LED sticker to the negative side of a battery using fabric tape. When we add more lights, we follow the same strategy. To start, I use the template I created in the first video to trace the holes of my card panel onto an A2 panel of white cardstock. Then I center my craft stencil over each trace dot and trace the outline of the sticker. I make sure that the positive side of the traced outline is closest to the outer edge of my panel for each sticker, which means I rotate the stencil for my last sticker. That sounds confusing, but I promise it will make sense in a minute. Once I finish tracing, I mark the negative and positive side of each traced outline. This isn't necessary, but I like to do it as another reference point to check my work before I start putting down tape or stickers. Next, I turn the panel to put it at a better angle for writing and then lightly draw a guide for my conductive fabric tape. I need to connect the positive side of each light to each other, so after connecting the first two lights, I make a sharp turn and connect to the positive side of the final sticker. Hopefully now you can understand why I said to keep the positive side of the traced outline closest to the outer edges. If my last traced outline was flipped, then I wouldn't be able to complete my circuit without crossing my tape lines, which would then break the circuit. I draw a line connecting the negative points of each sticker to each other in one continuous line. Sketching in your circuit with a pencil allows you to make sure everything is correct before you start laying down tape. Next, I carefully add tape to my panel. I start by covering the positive side of the traced outline with my tape and creating a sharp turn to continue the circuit past the last outline. I trim off the adhesive backing that's already been removed and leave the rest in place so that it can eventually be peeled off and adhere to the top of my battery. Then I repeat my tape process with a negative point of the outlines. I make sure my tape lines don't cross and then trim off the excess tape. Next, I place my LED stickers over the tape, centering them on the holes I traced earlier. I make sure that the negative point of the sticker covers the negative side of my circuit, and the positive side of the sticker covers the positive side of my circuit. Once I place all my stickers, I use leftover scraps of tape to reinforce my LED stickers. I cover both the negative point and the positive side of the stickers with tape. This ensures that my LED stickers won't shift or come unstuck in the mail. Finally, I slide my battery over the negative side of the circuit, making sure the negative side of the battery is touching the negative side of the tape. 
Then I remove the adhesive backing from the other piece of fabric tape and press it to the top of the battery to complete my circuit. I add a little adhesive next to the tape to adhere my battery securely to the circuit panel. Now my lights are on permanently or until the battery dies. When I place my firefly panel over the circuit panel, you'll see each of the three fireflies light up. And here's another look at that circuit. You can see how the positive side of each LED sticker covers the piece of fabric tape that runs over the positive side of the battery, and the negative point of each LED sticker covers the piece of tape that runs under the negative side of the battery to complete the circuit. Now we're going to repeat the process, but this time we're going to add a battery holder. If you're not familiar with using these, I recommend watching the intro video for a more detailed explanation on how to use them when preparing your card for mailing. You can find the link in the description below. Again, I start with my template with the traced holes. I trace the outline of my three circuit stickers in the same orientation as the last panel. I also label the positive and negative sides of the outlines as a reference. The sharp point is the negative side and the long side is the positive. Then I take a small piece of cardstock, approximately one inch by two inches, and score it in the middle. I add adhesive to the back of the left side and adhere that to the circuit panel so the fold is on the right side. Next I trace the outline of my circuit as a reference. Then I start laying down my fabric tape. I start on the positive and cover the positive side of each traced outline. When I reach the corner, I make a sharp turn and crease with the tape and then continue across the third outline. I keep laying down tape until I get about halfway down the holder. Then I make a 90 degree turn and run the tape up and over the holder and onto the inside right flap. This piece of tape will touch the positive side of the battery. As a side note, this holder is oriented in the opposite direction as my intro video, just to show you another way to adhere a holder. Next I add my tape to the negative side of the circuit. I cover the negative point of each outline, and then run the tape inside the holder. The negative side of the battery will rest on this piece of tape. Then I add my white LED stickers, making sure to align the negative and positive parts of the sticker to the correct line of tape. I reinforce my LED stickers with scraps of fabric tape. Later, I'll also end up adding a little extra tape to the po top point of the positive side of tape so that the fold doesn't move. I 
I slide in my battery and when I close the holder and press down, the LED stickers light up. I add a little adhesive to the holder alongside the negative piece of tape. I don't cover the tape with adhesive and this helps hold my battery in place. Again, I've added magnets to the top of the circuit panel for ease of use with my Firefly template, but likely you would add foam mounting tape around the edge of your circuit panel, making sure to not cover up any of the LED stickers. When I place the Firefly template on top and apply pressure to the holder, the circuit completes and the fireflies light up. And here's another look at that circuit with the flap of the holder open and closed. Finally, you can see both parallel circuits we created today. You can add multiple lights on your parallel circuit, and you can also mix and match colors to create a really stunning effect. And that's it for today. I hope you'll give parallel circuits a try soon. Be sure to subscribe to the Chibitronics YouTube channel and follow us on social media for lots of crafty inspiration. And stay tuned for the next video in the series. Thanks so much for watching, have a fantastic day, and happy crafting. Bye!